All right, now, so what we've done in the last session, you were doing boxes. And for night work, you made more and more boxes. Um, each side of these could be regarded as a plane. That's the sort of the term for that, fa that face or that side of the box. The next step is to get used to just drawing planes and then how planes might overlap and also maybe how you can use a box shape to create uh, planes that go in a certain direction. Let me explain. So first off, you start off with your horizon line and two vanishing points. If you do it on the wide part of the paper, you will find this easier. Okay? So again, this is vanishing point one and this is vanishing point two. So again, if you draw something up here, it will be looking up at the plane and if it's down here. There is a subtle difference with drawing planes though. Let's just draw one plane over here. If I draw it here, I could then draw this plane going to the vanishing point, and then I've drawn the, the end of that plane, right? So there's plane number one. If I was to draw another plane here, and take these lines to vanishing point number two. And you'll see that I'm not drawing it all the way. I'm kind of throwing it in that general direction. It will eventually make it over there. But seeing as it's gonna only be this long, it doesn't really help. So with both of these ones, I started the drawing of the plane with a vertical line. You're watching? Now, these two here are vertical planes, but now we're going to draw a horizontal plane, like a flat one, if this was the top of the box. And to do that, I actually just start with a dot. So from this point here, I go to vanishing point number two, and the same point, I go to vanishing point number one. And I'm just going to do a short little line there. And then I'm going to measure along here and measure along here. And this will go to vanishing point number two. And this will go to VP1. And now I've got a horizontal plane that I can go like that. Do you see? So I've got three different planes that would essentially, if I put them all together, if I could float them around, they would make a box. So if I was to put them all together, let's start with a vertical, and I'm gonna go to VP2. So I'm just drawing a box at this point, just how you've been doing it in the past. That goes off to VP1 and VP1. Then I'm gonna say, okay, I want it here and here. So it's a really long plane and it's not very long there. And then this goes to VP2 or VP1 rather. And you'll see I've now got kind of a box shape here. All right, now this is the cool part about learning how to draw boxes and then playing with plane lines. So the first plane that I'm gonna do is this one. But, are you watching? Now I'm going to draw a plane starting here and here and here, and the last one will be here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw those lines all going to the vanishing point, VP2. And I'm gonna do the same down here but it's only up to this next line because I can't see any more than that. 
And then here I can go down where it hits the back end of the box. Do you see? And so now what I've done is I've drawn a whole load of boxes or a whole load of planes that are going in this format. But they're all still in perspective. Do you see? Pretty cool, eh? Now, I'm going to do one even more cooler thing than that. I'm going to start with a really long box here. This one goes to VP2, but these, these are going to be vertical. So I'm going to draw the box first, but this box goes above and below the vanishing point. And this one here goes to that vanishing point over there. And I'm going to put in a vertical here and a vertical here. So I've just created a box, right? Now, I'm going to mark off a bunch of points on here because we're doing this horizontal and this is like this point here but it's here so this one goes to VP2 and you'll see a cool thing's going to start happening is that there's all the front lines to it so I can darken those in And then this one here, this box here, and this box here, I am looking down on them. Do you see? So the line comes back to here. But then when we go above the horizon line, it starts going back to our vanishing point quite extremely when we get really high up. Now, these lines here go to the vanishing point. And this one will be a real wedge. And then these points here go to the other vanishing point. So do you see here, do you see that array of lines of planes, horizontal planes? They have now, they're looking like they are, I'm looking at the underside and then the sliver gets thinner and thinner and thinner until you get to these ones where they're really thin slivers and then if I carried on, they would get larger and larger as I went down. So do you see now, I've got horizontal planes, the, doing them vertically like that. And then obviously I could do another one over here, which could be going back this way. So I would make a box up. And I could do a plane, a plane, and we can kind of carry on with how that looked. Okay? So if I was to darken these in. Now, similarly to the boxes that we did, planes can also, you can draw them as though they are, one is behind another. So there's my vertical planes there. But I could choose like a horizontal plane, take it back over here, and take it back, take it over to here, and maybe to here, and there. And I could have some 
playtime that this box, this plane seems like it's floating over that plane, but it's underneath these planes over here. Do you see? So what I want you to do uh, is have a go at drawing lots of planes. And in this fantastic illustration book, they have an example that I have posted also on TigerNet of planes that obviously echo one another and they're all kind of overlapping one another. I've given this as an example, but this video is now as an example of how to draw planes uh, online, okay? It's all on the TigerNet's topics page, okay?